Okay, let us start with the new concept, arrays. In everyday life, we commonly group similar objects into units. In computer languages, we also need to group together data items of the same type. The most basic mechanism that accomplishes this in C++ is an array. Arrays can hold a few data items or tens of thousands. The data items grouped in an array can be simple types such as int or float, or they can be user defined data types such as structures and some objects. Arrays exist in almost every computer language. Array in C are similar to those in other languages and identical to those in C. So, what are the different, I mean, important fundamentals? An array is a collection of elements where all the elements are same data type under the same name. The elements are numbered as 0, 1, 2, like that. These numbers are called as indices or subscripts. These numbers are used to locate the positions of elements within the array. If A is the name of the array, the elements can be directly accessed as A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, like that, so on. So A of 0 is the name of the first element present at position 0. A of 1 is the name of the second element present at position 1. In general, a of i is the element present at position i. So array can be represented as like this 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, if, it, if it's so. So here in this above array, a is the name of the array. So a of 0 contains 10, a of 1 contains 20, a of 2 contains 30. E of 3 contains 40, E of 4 contains 50. The diagram represents a region of the memory because the array elements are always stored in contiguous sequence. So the method of numbering the ith element with the index i minus 1 is called as zero based indexing. That is, the element is always same as the number of steps from the initial element a of 0 to that element. For example, the element a of 3 is 3 steps from the element a of 0. In C++, the subscripts always start with 0. For example, if b is the name of the array, b of 0, b of 1, b of 2 are the elements of 0, 1, 2, these, be, uh, these are the elements and 0, 1, 2 are the subscripts. So there are three types of arrays. One-dimensional array, two-dimensional array, and multi-dimensional array. So what is one-dimensional array? It is an array in which each element is accessed by using only one subscript. The only one subscript represents the position of the elements in array. Two-dimensional array. It is an array in which each element is accessed using two subscripts. The subscripts represent the position of the element in the array. So what is multidimensional array then? Multidimensional array is an array of n dimensions. In other words, an array of arrays is called as multidimensional array. A one-dimensional array of one-dimensional array is called a two-dimensional array. A one-dimensional array to two-dimensional array is called a three-dimensional array and so on. So coming to one-dimensional array, it is an array in which each element is accessed by using only one subscript. 
the only one subscript represents the position of the element in array. Like other variable, the array should also be defined before it is used to store elements. So an array can be defined by specifying the data type of the elements followed by name of the array and the number of elements that can be stored in an array. So the number of elements that can be stored in array is called the size of an array. So the size of the array must be a constant or an expression that evaluates to a constant and should also be an integer. The size should be enclosed within square brackets. So how do you declare one dimensional array? You can see the syntax here, data type followed by array name within square bracket, you have to specify the size. For example, int in the place of data type, you just remember array name. So 10 is the size. So this example defines an array marks that can store 50 elements and all the elements are of integer type. It is, it can store 10 elements. The size is 10 elements. You can store 10 elements now. And all the elements are of the integer. Thanks for watching. For more such video, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. For any queries, you can also write to us.